I am Veena Rawat and uh, I am part of the Canadian delegation and I am also working as a senior spectrum advisor for GSMA. Network of Women is from, from my perspective is a great initiative because one of the things it's doing is that ITU processes, whether they are the technical meetings or they are the World Radio Conference, they are complex and they require uh, a good understanding of you know, how the things work here. And Network of Women provides the opportunity to the women who come first time to these meetings, uh, the, you know, it provides them the opportunity to be able to understand, learn from their mentors, uh, what their roles are, how should they operate here, what they can do, how they can contribute, and most importantly, ITU needs more women in the leadership role, and uh, Network of Women would help tremendously to move towards that goal, because once the women understand you know, uh, how the things work, then they develop the confidence to actually take the leadership roles. If, if there are men who are, who are keeping this development of women in, you know, in this field, in this radio communication sector, then it's extremely important for them to get involved in now also and work. Because it's, women are not saying, the women who are coming in as mentees or mentors, they're not saying we can only learn from women. They can learn from anyone. I think what is needed is to be able to uh, work with these, uh, th the women have to come in and say they want to learn, and then the people who can provide that kind of expertise and you know, mentoring role, it's extremely important. Mentoring is not a one-way process. You're not just mentoring someone. You are always, always learning from your mentees also. At least in my mentoring for over, I don't know, decades now, I have found that it has been the best experience. This title of being the first and the only woman, it's a good title. But at the same time, I, I find it very difficult to sit here in 2019, 16 years after I chaired a conference, to say, I'm still the only woman. So my message is that to chair a conference to a WRC, because it only takes place every four, three or four years, it is important that we start planning for women to take that, you know, plan the chairmanship of a conference. So in 2019, if we want a woman to take the chairmanship of WRC 2023, the time is now to talk about it, uh, look at, review who the women are. We have a very, very good representation of women now. Okay, so we can't say we don't have the supply. We have the supply. It's a question of now focusing on it and then targeting women for, it doesn't have to be just one woman, uh, you know, targeting a number of women and say, these are the potential candidates for the WRC 23 chairmanship, and then follow that up through. A network of women can start talking about it, identify the candidates, and if the candidates need help, I know that for example, when some women were running for RRB uh, as elected officials, uh, you know, they talked to me and said, well, you ran for the uh, elected official position, tell us. So these women, it's a two-way street. So the women who think they want to chair a conference should come forward too, okay? And the women who think who can help out to actually, you know, guide them for the process, that can be done through Network of Women. Absolutely. I have said three or four times now, I have seen women who have been mentored under the network of women who came, at their, they're all different parts of the administrations and industry and everything else. They were, they were there, they were good listeners, 
I have seen them from just participating as a good listener in the meeting to now taking the microphone and not only presenting their views, actually debating their views, which has been it just a pleasure to see that. Join it in whatever capacity you can and keep moving, take actions. Uh, talking is very good, but we want concrete actions.